Okay, so let me do the um, attendance again. Just a second. How come I can't get up here? Here, Johnny, I can't see all my numbers here. Oh, here, why can't I see all the numbers? Okay, uh, Judith Munoz. Here. Paul Robinson. Here. Ron Anderson. Here. David Potter. Here. Giovanni. Here. Stephanie Smith. Here. Okay, I don't see Jeff Johnson. Uh, Carrie Logan is excused. And we have everybody else. Um, we do have a guest here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce Marshall Anderson. Uh, Marshall, you got your own video. You're gonna be our new member um, starting next month. You were approved at city council today on consent. And you just got a little bit of housekeeping to do before you join us again. Um, before we call to order, I do wanna say, um, Paul, um, that J Judith Munoz, you've been reappointed for another couple of years. That was done on consent as well today at city council. So welcome again. And Paul Robbins, um, let's see, yeah, Paul, Paul, Paul Robinson, this is gonna be your last meeting. So what I wanna do is thank you for everything you've done with the Mission Bay Park Committee. Uh, this is your last meeting as our chairperson. You've been with us for a long time. And then a new chair will take um, the seat next, next month, but that's yet to be determined who that's gonna be, okay? So go ahead and call the meeting and it's all yours. Thank you. Let's call the meeting to order at uh, 603. And first of all, I would like to say thank you for that uh, introduction, Mike. I appreciate it. It's been an honor and a privilege to have served this committee uh, for the great, the great asset that I consider this a region to have, Mission Bay Park. And I've served uh, for a number of years now. It's, it's been, every one of them have been, have been delightful, had great staff and Stacy McKenzie first and now Mike Rodriguez, the last couple of years, it's been a really very easy with those two staff members and all of the staff that, that Andy Field has at Park and Rec. So thank you. I've served with some great members and great members right now on this board. And I appreciate everything that uh, this, this committee and the Mission Bay Park Improvement Oversight Committee has done. So thank you. First order of business is to approval of the minutes of March 2. Um, Paul, Paul, before we do that, I need to um, read our little introduction for our, okay, th thank you. our virtual meeting. So good evening, everybody. My name is Mike Rodriguez. I'm the staff liaison for the Mission Bay Park Committee. <clears throat> we are conducting this meeting as a Zoom webinar to provide greater accessibility. Members of the public may join the meeting as webinar attendees in order to provide virtual non-agenda and agenda comment in real time. As a refresher, please take note of the buttons on the control bar to mute and unmute and turn your camera on and off. Please remember to stay muted when you're not talking and unmute yourself when you're ready to speak. As a reminder, please type speak in the chat window when you would like to speak or make a motion or a second. Committee members should refrain from using the hand raising function. Please only use the chat window when you'd like to speak and Chairperson Robinson will call you in order. Finally, please refrain from using the meeting chat for anything other than when you are signaling that you would like to speak for the Brown Act. On agenda public comment, those of the members in attendance wishing to speak, please click the button to raise your hand to indicate that you'd like to comment. And I will enable you to speak and send you a prompt to unmute yourself in order. When I call your name, please state your name for the record and you will have three minutes to provide public comment, after which you will be placed on mute again. If you are joining via phone, please press star nine to raise your hand. I will call out call you by the, four, the last four digits of your phone number. When I call on you, plus star six to unmute yourself. Please raise your hand now if you'd like to provide non-agenda public comment, and I'll write that down. So any attendees? Okay, so with that, I wanna thank everybody, and Mr. Chair, we're ready to start your meeting. 
Okay, I'm assuming there are no public comments on the, on the minutes for April for March 2. So I will entertain a motion or if, it, is, if anybody has any comments that they'd like to make on the minutes, then I will entertain a motion to approve. I move to approve. And that was, who was Dave that? Potter. David, okay. Ron Anderson, second. Gotcha, Ron. So, motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Actually, I'll Any? call roll so I have it. So Ron Anderson. Approve. Giovanni. Let's see. Abstain. 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 Yeah. Abstain. Sorry, I was having problems with my getting my gotcha. mood muted. Jeff, John Jeff Johnson. Approve. Judith Munoz. Approve. David Potter. Approve. Paul Robinson. Approve. Stephanie Smith. Approve. So the motion carries seven zero with one abstention. That was Giovanni. Okay, okay. Mr. Mr. Rodriguez, do we have any non-agenda public comments? I have nothing. Let me check the attendees. There's nothing there. So no, we do not. Okay, and then we're going into my report and where you're going to be discussing a request by Mr. Ron Oliver to discuss things uh, around the Mission Bay, Mission yeah. Beach, the Mission Beach area. Okay, so Mr. Ron Oliver, who's who's on the meeting today as, as a guest, as an attendee, um, sent an email to our chair, Mr. Robinson, and we're gonna address four items that were discussed in that email, which as staff we've met and we go ahead and share our responses. And I see we have Officer Brandon here and maybe there's some questions we can have answered there. So the first concern he had was regarding motorized scooters. And a lot of his concerns are not only the motorized scooters on the boardwalk at the beaches, as well as the bay, but the places where people park them, the little corrals where people park them. So with Mission Bay Park specifically, which this meeting is for, we don't allow motorized scooters on our bayside walks and we really don't have a big issue with them at the bayside walks that I'm aware of. Our rangers do contact people with motorized um, vehicles and they inform the what the laws are and they tend to move. Uh, the, the beachside boardwalk does have a lot and that's a big issue with them over there. As far as the corrals go, we don't have any designated corrals within the park lands of Mission Bay Park. They are in the public right of way. And a lot of Mr. Oliver's concerns are the scooter corrals block, um, street sweeping services and other public services. Um, so that's something that we'll look at and I could call Mr. Oliver when the meeting's over, we can go over some of that. As far as the uh, boardwalk vendors. So some of you have been at Mission Beach and Ocean Beach and Pacific Beach and have seen the, the commercial vendors that set up usually on the weekends and they, they sell merchandise and food goods. That is allowed through an assembly bill and I know our mayor's office and our city council, as reported last month, are looking into um, to work on uh, regulating some of those uh, vendors. So at this point, we don't have an Mission Bay. It's more of a beachside issue. And I'd like to contact Mr. Oliver and we'll put him in touch with um, the person that oversees the Shoreline Parks and he can get more information from that one. But we don't really, Mission Bay Park doesn't have a big issue with the boardwalk vendors. Uh, that's mostly at the beach side. Uh, his other comment was RV campers and vehicle habitation. Uh, anybody that's been in Mission Bay Park for the last year has seen an increase of those. And that's something that the police officers are aware of. And we're making contact as park rangers. And I do wanna see if Brandon can help share with RV camping, um, overnight camping and, van and vans and motorhomes. And maybe you have some comments you could share with us on that. Thanks. Yeah, so, so we are um, contacting them, we are citing them. Um, we're just not allowed to tow anything right now. So um, we, when we write the citation, we can't, uh, we can't force them to leave. So that's, we're kind of at a, kind of stuck right now. Okay. So, you know, we're trying to keep their areas clean around their RVs. We do make contact when we see them as far as our park ranger staff, but right now there is a lot out there. That's something we have to deal with in the future as the law and the enforcement um, allows us to. Let's see. Um, Let me, can I ask a question of Brandon? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Brandon, once you cite these people, do they come back? Yes. They uh, unfortunately, yeah, they come back. Sometimes um, what we'll do is we'll cite them and they'll just move to another location within the beach area. 
that's what we're seeing as well. So they'll move so we may, from one we may, lot to another. Yeah, we'll be, I, I've actually asked our uh, police investigative service officers, our PISOs, to really work um, West Mission Bay, or I'm sorry, East Mission Bay. East Mission and Bay. They just, yeah, they just, they, they, they go from there, they'll move over to Quivera, they'll move over to um, anywhere else they can find. South Shores is a big yeah. area, De Anza, you name it. Yeah. And because we can't tow, we don't have a lot of a uh, lot of teeth right now. So um, until we get that that back, I'm hoping with when we change to the orange tier, hopefully soon this week, sometime maybe. It would. It happened today. Oh, did it? Okay. Um, yeah. And that may that may be in flux. I don't know for sure. So um, we just kind of go from one day to the next. Okay. Uh, uh, Brett, I got a question. Go ahead, go ahead, Ron. Hey, Brandon. This is Ron Anderson. A question hey, I have is. Uh, what it seems like a, a lot of times what I'm seeing uh, in Crown Point is they sort of they, they have the system down where you know come uh, 10 o'clock they'll just drive their RVs up into the neighborhoods and then uh, fire them up at four o'clock uh, in the morning and go back down to the park. Is there a number you guys have designated to call uh, that I can pass out to uh, people that? Uh, all of a sudden have two RVs show up in their, in their front driveways that they can call to report that, hey, you have uh, someone in an RV habitat in front of their house, or is it just, uh, you know, the typical get it done app type situation? Well, currently, you know, if, if they're, if they're in, in um, public parking, if they're on the street, they can park there. Um, they just can't, um, they can't stay there overnight or sleep there. Um, so if they're parked there for a short period of time and then move on, um, there's not a, a lot we can do where we can really where we can really start um, citing them is from two two o'clock in the morning till six in the morning, and that's when we can start working the OVO situation or we hit them with the 72 hour um, violation. So um, unfortunately, like you said, they park there for a short period of time, then they move back into their location where they got beachfront property. So um, yeah, we're we're working on that as best we can. Great, thank you. I, I have a question. Too, if that's all right, this Giovanni. Go ahead, Giovanni. Um, I I have noticed a lot of the RVs along Old Sea World Drive along the river, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of trash. And literally, like it'll be a garbage bag full of trash. It looks like they're just leaving out there. Is there a system a way to to have that at least picked up so it doesn't end up in our the river in the bay? Yeah, this is Mike. So our maintenance staff is very aware of that old SeaWorld Drive situation. So we're doing double daily duties over there and picking up trash as they leave it. And we're making contact with the ranger staff. And at the end of SeaWorld Drive toward the jetty, um, we're actually going to be closing off some of that area to, to vehicles. We're going to um, kind of at the fisherman's point at the end of the jetty there at Quivera. We're going to be closing that off with bollards because there's people that are camping out, leaving lots of mess down there. So we're gonna try to contain it a little more so we can control it better, but you're right. They're leaving a big mess along SeaWorld Drive and that dirt lot along Quivera. So we're on it, the best of our abilities. All right, thank you. Can I, can I ask, uh, answer a couple more things or throw more, a few more comments in? Um, so our um, neighborhood policing unit gets out there as um, early in the morning and that's when they're conducting their citations. Um, they're, they're citing everybody. They're just waiting for, oh, and by the way, whenever we cite somebody, we give them a piece of paper or we leave a piece of paper with their citation on their thing that tells them where the safe parking lots are, where they can go to park for free and, and habitate. We have, we have a couple of them throughout the city, one over by the stadium or what used to be the stadium, sorry. Um, so we do give them the option. We give them a place to go. We're not just saying, hey, you just go. We've got to give them an option. So we are giving them the paperwork for that. Um, as soon as we are given the go-ahead, I'm assuming that we'll, many of our um, staff will be out there, and if they see expired registrations, 72-hour violations, anything like that, they're going to start towing vehicles. Hey, Officer Brodus, I have a uh, question. This is Jeff Johnson. Um, how about, is there anything you can do where there's an obvious uh, safety issue? Like I happen to, I'm, I'm at De Anza and East Mission Bay, that corridor in front of what used to be the Hilton is now the Mission Bay Resort. Um, fairly frequently. And there's a couple RVs down there that, I mean, are rolling death traps. I mean, they're barely serviceable. As a matter of fact, there's one that is a converted U-Haul moving truck that just has like a barbecue cut out of the side of it. And 
I'm, I'm, I question whether or not it rolls. And are you able to do anything about some of these, you know, quote unquote RV or things that people are living in that are, you know, questionable from a safety perspective? Um, Jeff, unfortunately, right now, I don't think we can. And I'm not, the reason I say I don't think we can is because I'm not positive. That's a really good question. Um, based on everything that I have, I've heard recently, I don't know if we can. Let me look into it some more. If it is, it's going to be something where we're going to look at vehicle abatement. We'll probably look through code enforcement or code compliance and see if any of that falls under that. Because it's a vehicle, it's probably going to be more towards um, vehicle abatement. Um, you know, parking on the street, not op inoperable, that kind of thing. Let me look into it a little closer. Um, and I, I, I really would like to give you a good answer on that one. Yeah, appreciate it. Okay, so the last item on the agenda for um, Paul's, Paul's items are uh, the potholes over there at Mission Point. So we are aware that the parking lot at Mission Point is full of potholes. Um, that area does get a lot of vehicle traffic. Unfortunately, that's not on our list for any improvements right now and there's no funding. So I've asked our staff to do our best with at least filling those potholes with some with some products so we can try to make that a little safer for travel. But unfortunately, there's no funding and there's no plans to redo the, the parking lot or resurface or repair that parking lot at Mission Point. So I don't have anything good to report on that one. So unfortunately, so we will fill the potholes with some with some fill and we'll see what we can do from there. Make it a little better. Thank you, Mike. Uh, is is Ron going to be able to respond to any of this, or is or are you just going to talk with him off offline? I can allow him to talk if you like. So let me do that. Sure. Yeah, allow to talk. So Ron, Ron Oliver, can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and share with what we said. Um, this is a public comment time. Yeah, um, I'll make it quick. Um, the, I don't know. <laughs> We're living in the house my wife and family bought in 1955. So we've been here a while. Uh, I was born and raised uh, racing sailboats at Mission Bay Yacht Club down every weekend. I don't know where you say that there's not an issue with scooters on the on the base side. Uh, we do have them. And, and now even worse, we're getting the bicycles that can go 37 miles an hour, by the way. And they're riding on the beach. So, but but my main concern was the the corrals where they're parking the scooters, and you can't sweep behind them. Where it affects park and rec is I have photographs of your staff moving the scooters, cleaning out the debris behind them, putting the debris in their pickup truck, moving the scooters back, and then taking that to wherever they take it. If if we're so short staffed, we shouldn't be allowing that to happen. Um, even even the scooters that, uh, you know, at, even after they put out all their multiple scooters, which, by the way, they don't even come close to the ordinance at 10 per corral. Um, they, they, there are scooters left everywhere on the grass. So your, your people doing the mowing of the lawn in South Mission Beach have to get stop their mower, get off the mower, move the scooter, do the mowing. I don't know what they do with it. But so it, it, it does have an impact on your staff. Um, the other one is the vendors. Um, their vendors, you know, they, I understood the beach side is a whole another story, but um, we actually have them on the weekends. They're pulling their carts up and down at the water line. Uh, the thing that bothers me is they don't control any of their trash uh, except their own. And what they do with their own is they put it in the city cans. And we know what that does. Um, so those are the those two things. Uh, what was the other one? The vendors. Oh, the RV camping. I was just out there. There are 15 obvious RVs. There are others that could be, but I could determine whether they're not. Eight of the 15 were out of state. There is one that's been there parking a handicapped spot for a month, easily a month. And I think he is actually, he has a barbecue set up out back and I think he's selling food. Um, so that, you know, I, 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 we talk about helping underserved communities. Our parking down here is really limited for people that want to visit. So we're, we're telling the people that are from underserved communities, if you want to come to the beach, don't come to South Mission. There's no place to park. 
And then because they're so long, they're sticking out in the alleyway, I mean, in, in, the, in the driving area, <laughs> and it creates congestion. Um, as far as the potholes go, yeah, I know it may not be funded, but I'll tell you what, the first scooter accident that they, they fall into one of those craters, um, you know, paving it would have been a lot cheaper. Um, and that's my other point, main point on, on that thing hasn't been paved in forever. We were told years ago that, okay, we're going to wait till we do the undergrounding, the utility undergrounding. Well, that's finished. Um, now they're going to do the sewers and everything. But so then we were told, oh, they're not doing it now because remember that big event that was, they're trying to get permits for to close off the entire South Mission area. Um, they're going to have volleyball games and all this stuff. And they said, well, we're waiting for that when that approves. Then we'll pave the lot so it looks nice and pretty. All right, Ron. Other than that, I can't remember last time it had a. All right, Ron. We appreciate repaving. it. I'm going to have a conversation with you offline and I'll include okay. the shoreline staff. This is Mike from Parks and Rec. I do want to add one yeah. comment about the scooters. Um, we did get approval to add some more signage, which prohibits those electric scooters on Bayside Walk. So we're going to increase that. And I have a sign order in. So I forgot to add that as part. So that'll help control and we can help educate and enforce that. So. Um, I'll, I'll call you Ron offline and we'll have a discussion and we'll try to work out some of your concerns, okay? All right, so with, with that, Paul, do you have anything else? Nothing else, so there, nothing else. So we can go to the staff reports. City Council office, is Carrie Munson on? I don't see Carrie. Um, Darlene, we're just gonna, we're gonna get Darlene on. She just joined us. So we'll get Darlene in. I don't see, I don't see Carrie from City Council. Um, we had a pretty long city council meeting today um, with a lot of issues. So I don't know if she's still recouping from that. So well, okay, probably probably. office too today. Do we have uh, Lieutenant Rick Romero? I do not see Rick on here. No, I don't. Uh, Officer Br Broadus, do you have anything else that you want to add? Um, uh, nothing right now. If you guys have any more questions, I'd be happy to answer anything you got or try to. Okay, thank you. Uh, Christina Chadwick, or do you have anything you want to add? Good evening, um, Paul. No, I do not have anything to add today. Um, my update has been consolidated into Mike Rodriguez's update in just a moment, but I did want to take a, just a second to thank you for your service on this um, committee and for all of the things that you do for the city of San Diego in particular, but thank you. And um, I just wanted to express my gratitude. So thank you. Thank you, Christina. Mike, do you have anything else that you want to report? Yeah, I have a few items I can report on. Um, last month, I reported on a grant that we received for some tree planting through transportation and stormwater. Um, pleased to announce that um, the grant for 70 trees has been approved. We started planting those trees. We have 22 of them planted over at Vacation Island, and we'll be bringing more to Ventura Cove and Quivera Road. So we're in the process of planting trees through that grant. So we're adding lots of new trees to Mission Bay Park, which is good news. Um, report from our park rangers. Um, reminder that lease term breeding season starts April 15th. And right now staff's prepping the area, pulling weeds, fixing fencing, and, the, and uh, fixing the number grid and laying tiles and doing vegetation monitoring over there for the lease term breeding season. So that's, that's from that. Um, as far as my report, um, like I said, we had a city council meeting today and some of you know that the park, the nighttime curfews at the three parks in Pacific Beach, Faneuil Street Park, uh, Pacific Beach Library Park and the Mission Bay Athletic area um, was approved on consent um, this afternoon at council. So we're moving forward with amending the municipal code for nighttime curfews at those three parks in Pacific Beach. So that's been about a two year project almost. And it started with the Pacific Beach Town Council and it was finalized today at city council. And are, are those curfews all the same, Mike? Uh, no, it's a little different. The nighttime curfew at the Mississippi Athletic Fields start at 11 p.m. The other two parks start at 10 p.m. Okay. That's to allow sports to conclude at night, okay? Uh, let's see, we got the reappointment of Judith Munoz. That, that was done today, as well as uh, the appointment of, of um, Paul, of, excuse me. Marshall. Marshall, Marshall, Robinson, Anderson, sorry, Marshall Anderson, gotcha. 
All right. Um, the grounds maintenance worker ones, the seasonal ones, we're starting to get them come on board. We've got three of them starting next week. So we're starting to get that summer, that spring and summer help with the hourly maintenance workers. So that's important to us to get those on board as soon as possible. And really, oh yeah, one other item. So some of you remember Bruce Martinez. He was the deputy director for developed regional parks for some of the members have been around a while. He uh, retired at the beginning of this month. So Bruce Martinez, after 33 years, retired from parks and recreation. And we just heard today that the new appointment for community parks one division is Shelly Stoll and she starts her assignment immediately. So uh, Bruce Martinez used to be developed regional parks, went to community parks one and he has retired. So that will just want to announce that for some of you that know Bruce. Congratulations to Bruce. Congratulations. Okay, having no more staff reports, the only thing on our agenda tonight is a consent agenda, which is really a, a cleanup item, requesting recommendation to move forward on the Mission Bay Drive Channel Maintenance Project and complete DSD Form 620. Okay, so we heard the report last month. Uh, I believe Bethany's on board today, and so is Stephanie. We don't need to elaborate much on the report because they gave us a great detailed presentation last month. So now the item is, like you said, housekeeping. We need to approve it on consent so they can get their DSD form completed um, formally. And I'll complete that form for them based on tonight's meeting results. Okay. Do I hear a motion to approve? So moved. This is Judith. Second. Hey, that's Dave Potter? Yes. Okay, please call the roll of my... Ron Anderson? Approve. Giovanni? I might just abstain since I wasn't at the last meeting. Okay. okay. Jeff Johnson? Approve. Judith Munoz? Approve. David Potter? Approve. Paul Robinson? Approve. Stephanie Smith? Approve. And Darlene Walter? Approve. Okay, the motion passes seven, zero, with one abstention, Giovanni. You got it, Paul. Okay, well, I guess that's the finish of this particular committee meeting. Does anybody have any comments or? Questions? Yeah, we got a couple minutes before our next meeting, so we could go down the line if we've lot. Um, if there's any reports, let's see. We could start with, we, maybe we can listen, Marshall Anderson, since you're on there, if you want to introduce yourself and see where what you expect from this committee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy to. Um, I don't know how much as far as expectations, I'm just happy to give back a little bit, a uh, little bit about myself, born and raised in San Diego. Mission Bay Park has always sort of been synonymous with my life. Uh, grew up, growing up, I lived uh, between Mission Beach with my mom, Mission Valley with my dad, riding my bike in between, got my first kayak when I was 12, explored just about every nook and cranny in Mission uh, Bay. Uh, still to this day, I, I live a couple blocks away, so I like to start my day with a cup of coffee and, and uh, fishing, watching the sunrise over Fiesta Island. So just excited to give back where I can. Um, so Mike, uh, thanks for the introduction and uh, looking forward to working with all of you. Okay, you'll join us actually as a member at large. I had you list on the agenda as Council District 2, but you'll be uh, resuming the role for Paul Robinson as a member at large, okay? And for big shoes to fill, Mr. Robinson, thanks for all you do. You yeah, thank you, thank you, Marshall. Uh, Mike, when does the mayor intend to appoint the, the chair? That's supposed to be before next month. I had a, I had a, a call with, uh, with the director of appointments today. And he said the chair should be done in the next few days. That announcement should be done. I think council district two nominates it and the mayor approves it. So that's where it's at right now. Okay. That's the way I understand it. So Judith Munoz, you have a reappointment. Do you have anything to share? Uh, no, except that I can't believe that it's been two, two years. Right. Because we've had one year on Zoom and I don't know if that makes it seem longer or, or shorter. And I also wanted to thank Paul for all of the work that he's done and for chairing these meetings. And I know it hasn't been easy on Zoom, so thank you. And Marshall, okay. I look forward to working with you. Okay. Um, our other Council District 2 representative, Giovanni. I have nothing to report at this time. Ron, do you have anything? 
Uh, no, I just, uh, I'll talk to you, Paul, offline, but just again, uh, thank you for the numerous years you've put on this committee and all the hard work. And uh, you've certainly, uh, in your position, the park has certainly changed and changed in a lot better way. So I just want to thank you as a, as not only a member on this committee, but as a resident of Crown Point, seeing the Bay every day, that uh, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a tribute to what you've done. Okay. Thank so, you, Ron. That's a very kind words. We're still we're still working on it. We're still looking forward to De Anza to revitalize it down there. So it's, it's a it's a work in progress, but a loving work in progress. With with that, anybody else have anything else? We are at oh, that. Jeff, Darlene, Jeff, Paul, or Stephanie, anything? Um, this is Jeff. I'd like to thank Paul for all of his hard work and. Uh, I'm in Cabo and I will hoist one in your honor this Thank evening as soon as this meeting is over. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate that. My okay. apologies for joining late. Yeah. Am, am I perceiving that Paul, you're stepping down? Um, his, yeah, his term has expired and uh, Marshall Anderson is taking over as the member at large for Paul Anderson starting next meeting. Well, welcome, Marshall. Paul, you're going to make me cry. Oh, no, don't do, don't do that, Charlene. Charlene, you'll make me cry. So thank, thank you so much. Oh, I will miss you. Thank I think you. we all will. Okay, Paul. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm, going to stay, I'm going to stay in touch. Mike's going to keep me in touch. So uh, this, this is a, a, a love and work for me. We'll have so you we, can, we can adjourn. We can adjourn this can meeting. I just, can I just make one comment? Yes. I'm looking forward to the day that uh, that we're all back in the the um the room over there at santa clara and i can shake your hand and thank you for your service <laughs> thanks yeah that would be great we're looking forward to that also so let's adjourn this meeting at 6 32 and call the mission bay park improvement fund oversight committee 